I know it's quite random, but I was doing a tree run, and then I realized, wait, I have some Belladonna planted in Draenor Manor for ages, because that's a requirement for a hard Alumbridge diary. And then I opened the diary, and it seems that it's completable. I only need three tasks, craft cosmic runes, take a train from Dorgish Khan, and light my mining helmet. And then I can just claim the hard lamp. So let's quickly do that. Out of all transportation in RuneScape, I never took trains. It's just such a weird concept to me, but w this is Keldegrim. I don't even, never knew that such place existed. Where does this even take me to? Can I go back to this place? Uh, okay. Wow. Very interesting indeed. I guess it just doesn't take you to too many places, just very few places to go. Congratulations, you have completed all of the hard tasks in Lumbridge and Draenor area. And I need to speak to the guy who everyone hates. Look at this guy. He looks so out of place. This is where new players spawn and it's like this guy, this douchebag just standing here with third age. It's completely out of place. Like he's not even supposed to be in here. I don't even know why they added like new NPCs. I, I don't, like, they, they could have just reused the old ones. And not just Lumbridge, I'm talking about everywhere. Like, Varrock and all that. So, yeah, that, there we go. We got a lamp. I'm going to be using this time on runecrafting. That should give me a level. So, we're going to get to 62 runecrafting. The reason why I use this on runecrafting is because I looked at the elite tasks, and it seems that every single one of them is completable at this time, except craft 140 water runes. I need 76 runecrafting, or 71 if I want to boost. So, that's it's not that long. It's, it's I, I have all the pure essence I need from Zalra in, in the bank. I could just I could level up, and I could complete elite Lumbridge diaries. Perform a quest emote at Wise Old Man's house, okay? Pretty easy. Th that's about it. Well, I mean, it's easy because I already have it. If I need to get it from scratch, it's like the most difficult out of all, I would say. Because it just takes so much time to go get a quest scape. I don't even know how this one is elite. Chop some magic locks at Mage Training Arena. I mean, 74 woodcutting, is that really elite? This one is going to be slightly difficult. I need to smith an Addy play buddy down at Draenor's sewer. I am here at the place, but I need 88 smithing, so I need to boost four levels, which is not that big of a deal. Um, it's, hopefully, it's going to do this from this one inventory. Almost. Almost. Oh. 89 smithing? Okay, I need to do this quick because I need to make a play buddy, but something that uh, a lot of you recommended in my previous video is to make more uh, runite dart tips, because if the next time I'm getting elite clue scroll that, allow that requires me to make dart tips, all I need is to attach feathers to dart tips, so I can pre-make a lot of these, so I need to be very quick. Okay, that probably sounded too confusing, but no! Did you see that? It was a last game tick that everything turned into gray. Okay, I really hope this is going to be the case, because this is going to decide if I'm going to get 71 runecrafting or not. This is the last one that I need to do from 62 to 71. So here's the deal. There is this uh, ZMI, right? They added this like uh, six months ago or something like that. Now, as you can see, this is how it looks like, yeah? Uh, if you want to walk, you have to click on the minimap, and you walk to the altar, and this is the map, so you have to walk from this place all the way to this altar, then use the teleport, and you can easily go back to this place. Now, initially, at least, I, I think they fixed it. That's why I I'm not sure if this still works. In OS Buddy, you can select OpenGL mode, so th this one, right? So I'm going to select it. It's going to freeze for a little bit, black screen. Oops, well, I don't know what happened here. And now I have like better graphics, but I also can see much farther away, as you can see. So what if I zoom out, at least previously, you could see the altar. Now I think you can see, but you cannot click on it. You cannot interact with any objects. I can't even zoom out as far away. What, did they fix the zoom out? I need to check setting camera, zoom on. What if I go to settings? Is there some kind of limit? Remove zoom cap on. Okay, so I can remove the cap and now I can zoom as far away as I want. So I can see the altar, but I cannot click on it. But what I mean by this is this would allow kind of AFK runecraft. Because if you go from here and can I just click? No, I can't click. They fixed it. I think they fixed it. Yeah, can I click here? I can't, oh, I can. So I can click quite far away, but not as far as I would love to. I definitely remember videos, people clicking, just one clicking to the altar. Okay, so they fixed it.
So if you look at these people running, look at how they're gonna disappear. This is how far the regular client can see. So the OS buddy allows you to see way farther away. But I, I'm just wondering when can I click on the altar? I obviously cannot do it from here, but uh, I can. You see, I can click quite far away. So can I do it now? Can I do it now? Should be very close. Okay, so just click. It's it's around near this lava pool thing. This is where you can start AFK. From from this point, I'm AFK. It's not, it's not that much, but it's it's kind of relaxing. You know, it's a relaxing. It's it's not click intense. It's not like um, lava rune rune crafting. It's it's pretty good. So just click craft, craft on this, and it gives you all kinds of runes. And I don't know the XP rates. Apparently, I just looked up the Autumn Elegies Guide. It's like 50k XP an hour. But obviously, I don't have like the largest pouch. And then you just teleport back, and that's how it's gonna go. And this looks very weird. <laughs> Welcome to Ardone. It's gonna be quite hard to click on objects. Like this is climb down ladder. Why, hello there. This is maybe 10 hours later, and I can tell you that this is not happening today. I, I'm very proud of myself, by the way, because I got from 61 to 67 runecrafting, and I really hate this skill. It's usually my lowest skill out of all, but it just, it's not enough. I was slacking quite a bit, because, again, I don't like this skill too much. I was getting like 23k XP an hour or something like that. So I guess I'm gonna have to do this tomorrow. And now I'm gonna play some clips that I recorded yesterday. First chest. Not, not joking, again, first chest. And I think this is a unique item. that I, I don't remember having any Gutten items at all. Okay, let's see, Gutten's... Oh no! No, I do Oh my god, I have it. And that's like the only one I barely remember that I had one gut. No! Jagex. I did not receive anything for the last 24 chests. Thank you for ruining my life. I don't want to do battles anymore. 220 kill count. I'm just joking, but uh, I want to go somewhere else now. I have no idea what the hell happened here. So I'm just harvesting my herbs and then I change my mind. I click away, but look at my inventory. It's still going in. I'm still harvesting, still doing the emote, and I'm still getting farming experience even though I am far away from the patch. So yeah, hi. What I'm doing right now is I'm planting Madintel seeds because I have a bunch of dragon bones from Zelda, like 600 or something, and I got a bunch of soul heads as well. I want to get my prayer just a little bit, even if it's like two or three levels. And of course you need Madintel to light those burners in your house. Well, it's actually nothing that much. It's gonna give me one, maybe one and a half levels from these. I barely collected them. I just mostly AFK Slayer because that's the way I train. But I actually have a lot of bones, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with big bones because they don't give that much XP. And I would be wasting herbs. I don't have any Madintel seeds. I have like... Look, I have three Madintel seeds. Oh, that experience. 1.5k... Why I cannot cast it? Oh no, I'm stupid! I just use a dragon battle axe special attack and I can no longer cast a spell because... <laughs> I was like, I'm finally high level enough to cast the spell because I was collecting these dragon heads for so long. Oh, we got one prayer level. 71, how much experience? 84, oh that's not that much. I think I can get one more after this. Okay, so while we're waiting for Madintels to grow, I want to play this updated minigame. They updated it yesterday, so you cannot get any duplicate pieces of Rogue's set. Which is a huge deal, because previously, some people would spend 8 hours trying to collect full set. They would get like 10 tops and 0 gloves. They, they would need just one piece, and they just keep getting duplicates over and over and over. So you can no longer get that. So I assume this is gonna take no time. It, it feels like it should take you like, what, like 20 minutes to just five runs and that's about it. Now, I don't remember how to do this. So what I'm doing right now, I'll probably fail at some point. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in here. The reason why I want to get the full rogue set is because it's very good for pickpocketing something like, ma well, everything pretty much. Because you're getting double loot. So if you're pickpocketing Ardo Knights, it's very good. But I will also need to get some Madintel seeds, and it's very good to pickpocket Master Farmers. And that's the reason why I'm doing this right now, because I don't think I have enough Madintels in my bank for those Dragon Bones. Okay, this could be the last one, and there we go. I did not receive any Rogue kids, because you can get them, and I don't, it's like junk item. I don't even know what, why that exists in the game, but it took me quite a long time, 33 minutes, because I failed a lot. 
You get to the last chest, you, you don't usually get the reward. No, you can fail. Let me just drop this inventory. It's now been one hour and I'm wondering how much thieving experience I've gained because I think I gained half a level at this thing and this is not supposed to give you a lot of experience and that is 74k thieving XP an hour. Well, anyway, this is what I got. 42 Madintel seeds, 12 Ranner seeds, 2 Irid seeds. Uh, I just collect these because these are actually good. Like they, they make potions that give a lot of experience. And the total price check is 440k, which is, well, nothing much. And here we have it, 74 player level. I can now use player rigor.